what's going on guys it's your girl Jennifer and I'm back with another video for you guys it is late it's like four something in the morning and I'm in New York so you know there's a message for you guys because I really do messages at this time but something told me to pick up the cards before I really go to sleep so spirit I ask that you allow me to deliver the message that needs to be given tonight Patience. Patience is required at this time, all right? You need to utilize your intuition at this time for the next step that you are going to make because the next step is going to be something long-term. Spirit is working in the background. Um, and there's divine intervention at work here. So right now, the best thing you need to do is just continue on your path the best way that you see fit right now and utilize your intuition. All right, change. There's a really, really huge change that is going to be something like an adventure here. It's going to be nothing like you ever expected, but it's going to be fun. You're going to learn a lot from this change. Divine, the divine is at work right here. And you may be seeing um, 555, 222. You may be 25. Your birthday uh, may be February 5th. Or February 5th could be significant. But there's a significant change. This is There's a significant change happening around you and in your life right now. And this is a time for you to really relax. Really pull back your energy from a lot of things and really utilize your intuition, master um, self-discipline here and let the divine take its course because I feel like you don't have no control over this. Whatever is going on here, it is going to be for your highest and greatest good. This change is going to be long-term. So that's why this is a time of patience and, and divine timing. individuality number 11 this is an opportunity where you can embrace your own individuality understanding that you was born different for a reason this is a time to really bring out any ideas that you were scared to do this is a time for you to do things that you was kind of um, worried about it's like the door is open for you to really embrace your creativity Whatever that is for you. I'm hearing doing something out of the norm. Spirit really wants you to shift and change everything that is going on in your life right now. Because you are being changed into a different person. It's requiring you to master patience. It's requiring you to embrace, embrace your own individuality. Do things that you normally don't do but that is fulfilling to you. This change is going to allow you to become more of yourself. For you to really release any ego or release the need to live up to any standards that people may have held um, for you in the past. This is you knowing that the divine is working in your favor right now. And all you need to do is keep going. Teaching and learning. Purple is all about completions. It's all about ending cycles. So you, again... Hold a lot of wisdom and a, not, and a lot of knowledge that right now in this current moment, people can benefit from. You are benefiting from. People can actually learn from your experiences. There may be a career change for you in a completely different route, something that you never expected. It may have to do with spiritual matters. You might find yourself public speaking about life and about spiritual growth but right now you are in the energy of holding a lot of wisdom and learning and also being able to teach from your wisdom that you're obtaining right now all right and this learning and teaching is coming from something that you're healing from 
And this healing is requiring for you to work on your inner child and really embrace something that you really didn't like about yourself. It is calling you to open up the gates of possibilities when it comes to your own creativity. It's like you have your own canvas and you are the creator of that portrait. All right. Healing is a beautiful thing. Healing is an opportunity to mend things with your inner child and to set boundaries and not to be walked all over because you're a human being. Healing is a time for you to actually learn and teach from your experiences so that way you can help others ascend. So you could allow your soul tribe to be formed. People could benefit from you right now because you hold a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of um, knowledge that is surrounding you right now. And that's why you are needing to have patience. Because all of this knowledge, all of this wisdom, all of this healing and change, it's requiring you to really process this. Because again, this season that you're in, it is going to be something that is going to be long term. Longevity is what I'm hearing. So you must process all of this wisdom, all of this knowledge, all of this um, self-educating that you're doing. You must process all of this so you could actually be a voice for others. So that way your throat chakra could be clear and you can stand up for others because you know, you, you understand. Again, this change is not only going to be serious, but it's going to be fulfilling. You're going to find joy. You're going to meet different people. You're going to see different places. You're going to experience different foods. You're going to have different things to talk about. And that is because you are finally embracing who you really are, not who people want you to be. You are finally wearing the right clothes that you feel comfortable in, not because it's fashionable. You are embracing your own uniqueness at this time. And it's requiring you to have patience because the divine is here working in the backgrounds on things that you can see. And now you're in control of the things that you can see. All right? Pride. You're healing from having too much pride. You're healing from having too much pride and allowing your ego to manifest more than your soul. So as you release the ego, as you release the pride, and as you complete karmic cycles that had you living in a vessel, in a soul that you're not, you are choosing to let go of this spirit of pride and heal from any trauma, any childhood trauma that may have, you, have had you attracting relationships that was full of pride and ego. You are healing from relationships and pride within yourself that now you can teach from the wisdom that you have obtained. Now you can teach from the knowledge that you have obtained from the healing process you chose to go through as we have um, experienced these eclipses, you allow these things to be eclipsed out your life so that way you can have a more a healing approach to this um, season. And with patience, you are learning how to use your intuition more. You are learning how to not move so fast, but really process your next decision. And that takes knowing your body, knowing how your body reacts to certain decisions and people, places, and energies. Again, there's a huge change that is coming about and it is requiring you to take this opportunity, embrace your own individuality, embrace your own unique self, never compare, release any jealous spirit, release any spirit of envy or confusion or com competition. You are solely unique for a reason. Everybody was made different on purpose and you have the time and the opportunity with this number 11 to operate higher than your root chakra this is you balancing out your root chakra and not living in survival mode and driven by passion and temptation this is you embracing your true self 
and love and compassion and the fun and crazy things that you like to do and getting in touch with your inner child so that way you have no spirit of doubt around you as this change is um, unfolding in your life right now. The last card is karmic completion. Congratulations. This is what you've been going through. You have completed a karmic cycle, which took a lot of patience, which took a lot of healing, which took a lot of releasing pride and embracing your own individuality here. You have completed a karmic cycle that took very long because others couldn't complete it in your family. And now you are being put in a position to teach and continuing to learn from the ancient wisdom and knowledge that is surrounding you right now. Not only you will benefit at this time for completing this karmic cycle and teaching and learning, but many others behind you and you're like leaving a legacy here because you finally did it. Completed a karmic cycle, so congratulations. That is the message.